This is exactly why switching between center bats just like this is super important, specifically in the bots. Now it does incorporate right sit switching and you'll hear me throughout the entire year of this year and years to come that right sit switching is simply the most important aspect of good defense that you can learn. You need to get it down pat, you need to learn the angles, you need to get quick at it. So why I tell you every single video to learn it. But as you see in this situation, when your opponent is trying to build around the bots, he's trying to find a way in to the bots. But if you're good at switching between your center bats, you can not only push up together with them, but you can anticipate passes into strikers. You're gonna see coming out of the E Premier League, they are perfectionists at this technique. They're switching between both center bats, pushing them up, and then anticipating the next pass. You know how your opponent will get a ball into a striker, and then a lot of the time he will then turn and look for the net striker, because he's usually in a good spot to get a shot off. I mean, that's called the extra pass, and that's something I try and encourage to you guys a lot, is to find a player in a better position. But a good way to stop this is knowing and learning how to switch between your two center bats. Because not only will this technique, or not only will your ability to switch between both center bats help you in these situations, but also in situations where you need to switch between two players in the midfield, or switch between your wing back and your center back. Your ability to switch between two players close together will absolutely, no doubt, improve your ability to defend, not only in the bots, but everywhere. So what I suggest you do is if you're trying to learn right sit switching, you're actually trying to learn this technique, go into kickoff and practice with the right stick. Flicking between the two center bats or flicking between the two midfielders and pushing them up. You don't want to just control one and then run up. You want to control both and the way you control both is from this technique. Using the right stick, flicking between both and actually learning this movement and learning your ability to control both defenders. It will help you in so many situations. Now I am coaching one-on-one. -on -one. If you want to be a part of that, the link is down below. I work one-on-one -on -one with clients. I've taken people from low divisions to elite divisions. You can check that out. The link is down below, but I'm out. Sign up, au revoir. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe as well. And like, <laughs> au revoir, adios, salam, ciao. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplement, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code DILLANETSATP at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys. So, thank you.